Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google has announced its new SGE while browsing features, which, if you're unaware, SGE stands for Search Generative Experience. Now, this was something Google uh, introduced in their search labs back in May of this year, 2023. And uh, basically what SGE does, um, it's integrating AR, artificial intelligence, into the Google search engine which brings new generative AR capabilities, which Google says will help you better learn and make sense of information on the web. Now, in a recent announcement um, on the 15th of August, uh, Google has said due to positive feedback since May of this year, and they've now added a few more upgrades and features to the SGE, the Search Generative Experience. And um, if you are interested, um, the first is that Google says you can now see definitions within AR-generated responses. Now, heading over to a screenshot from that announcement, which will give us a good idea as more or less what to expect regarding um, these definitions within AR-generated responses, and because um, these features haven't actually rolled out as yet to the general public. Now, the first example Google gives um, is that when you're researching something new, or looking for an explanation of a concept, you might come across a term you don't understand or just might want more information about. Now, um, as we can see from this example, they are highlighting the word proton. So Google says within this update, you'll be able to hover over certain words, as in this case proton, to preview definitions and see related diagrams or images on the topic. From here, you can tap to learn more. So this is using um, AR-generated responses to see those definitions. Now, the next um, new upgrade regarding SGE, um, at this stage, though, we haven't actually got anything visually to show you, but I'm just going to mention this, and Google says you can now better understand coding information in AR overviews. So with um, their new updates, segments of code in overviews will now be color-coded with syntax highlighting, so it's faster and easier to identify elements like keywords, comments, and strings which Google says will help you better digest the code you see at a glance. So that's better understanding coding information in AR overviews. Now, at this stage, um, this is an early experiment in search labs. So this and these updates are not rolling out to the general public. But um, the SGE while browsing is available in the Google app on Android and iOS, and Google says, and is coming to Chrome on desktop in the days ahead. Now, although they don't give us an exact date, they just say in the days ahead, but obviously if something does change, I'll post and let you guys know. Now, Google does have this to say, um, just to end off this video, and this is just an example um, of SGE uh, in the Google app as an example. SGE while browsing, Google says, was specifically designed to help people more deeply engage with long-form content from publishers and creators and make it easier to find what you're looking for while browsing the web. And I'm quoting this, by the way. They carry on to say, on some web pages you visit, you can tap to see an AR-generated list of the key points and article covers, as we can see from the GIF provided, with links that will take you straight to what you're looking for directly on the page. And they also say they'll also help you dig deeper with Explore on page, where you can see questions and the article answers and jump to the relevant section to learn more. And that's uh, the SGE, which is now rolling out and is available in the Google app on Android and iOS, and as mentioned, coming to Chrome on desktop in the days ahead. And that's just a quick overview. As mentioned, that's an, that announcement that um, Google has made regarding the SGE search generative experience while browsing with those new features that are on their way to the desktop shortly. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.